Today, I want to talk about jealousy and envy. Jealousy and envy. Jealousy and envy could lead to murder. One of the reasons people would not celebrate you is because of envy and jealousy. When you are successful and when you are doing well, many people will not congratulate you or wish you well because of envy. Most of the destructive criticisms that we receive come from jealousy and envy. Jealousy and envy could lead to hate. People are so petty that they can jealous you for immaterial, insignificant and little things. For example, that you are more handsome, more beautiful, you are in a better shape, you do better than them in class, people love you and admire you, you are famous and popular, and therefore some people begin to jealous you. The more you are blessed, the more envy and jealousy you get. Even in business, the more sales you make, more than the person you are in same business with, the more jealous he or she would be with you. The more you do well, the more you distinguish yourself and advance in your career, the more envious your colleagues become. Jealous people are angry people. Sometimes it is incomprehensible to fathom how someone's heart will be bleeding and broken in anger because something good is happening to their fellow human being. People who are jealous are actually happy when bad things happen to people they envy. They always wish ill and evil of the one they envy. They are sad when they are happy and they are happy when they are sad. These people that jealous and envy dance and celebrate and rejoice at the misfortune and tragedy that befall one they hate. A certain girl was jealous of her closest friend because she is about to get married to a wonderful, gorgeous, handsome and elegant man. At the last minute, things did not work out and the marriage was cancelled and called off indefinitely. This other girl, this other jealous girl, received this news with so much joy and excitement. She was so elated and happy as if she won a lottery. One thing about jealousy is that it does not often come from one's enemies, but rather people closest to you like Joseph's, like Joseph's case in the Bible and the case of Abel and Cain, the king of jealousy. Being jealous takes a lot of energy and it can be exhausting. It is draining. People who are jealous are crippled. They are stunted and they cannot grow or improve themselves. The time and energy they could have invested in discovering and developing themselves is more or less used in bitterness, anger, hatred, and jealousy. Therefore, they can't grow. People who are jealous are likely to engage in unhealthy competition. Jealousy could evolve from being a habit to a way of life and it can further escalate to a level of sickness in that sense chronic. Jealousy could be a sickness and I would respectfully suggest that those concerned seek professional help. Jealousy is so bad that people lose sleep at night over the progress and well-being of the other people. People who are jealous wake up every day 
and expect to hear bad news about you. When you are sick, they pray that you die. And when you suddenly recover, they go into melancholic mood again. A jealous heart is a wounded heart and a heart in bondage. Such people need healing and liberation. Wish each other well. Wait for your own time. Everyone has their time. Each person is unique. Mr. A may have been blessed in one area. You may be blessed in another area. Live and let live. The sky is large enough to accommodate all birds. Jealousy is self-punishment and self-imprisonment. Jealousy does more harm than good. Be happy for people's success and see your own door open. Your blessings look at you and your favors run over. 